it's not no longer about the revolution. Now it's about the state. We are gotten to the point where the transition is beginning. We have to think as state builders now. We have to to think as statesmen, not as as uh, gun toting revolutionaries. The rebels did the job. Now they expect us to provide a guidance and a vision for the future that can allow this fragmented entity that Syria to become whole again. That requires political skills. This requires negotiations. This requires uh, uh, pragmatic thinking. This requires a plan. We cannot keep fooling ourselves and say that we can produce this vision on our own. A vision for a country, in order for it to be legitimate, has to include a dialogue between all constituent members of that country, between all the communities, between all the regions. And it cannot take place uh, behind closed doors. This kind of a dialogue about the future of a country and a vision of a people has to be done publicly because the people are part of it. Uh, the, we, we need them to legitimate the final vision when it comes and, and it's put forth. So we really cannot shy away from the word political solution. It's not an either or, either military struggle to the end or a political solution. It's both. We can, however, create this parallel process of dialogue. We can tell the international community, look, we're ready. We're ready to, to dialogue on, on a new vision for Syria, on a new structure for Syria, on, 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 on a new administrative entity, a new a system for ruling Syria. We, we, we are going to negotiate with all of the relevant forces. We're going to negotiate with the Kurds represented by all of the major parties. We're going to uh, negotiate with the regime represented by its people. We are going to sit down with other opposition groups who have different points of view. All of us, we are willing to talk about these issues. It's not going to be easy, but this is what international mediation is all about. Give the chance to the international mediators to work. Don't just tell them no, 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 no. In, at one point in the beginning, no was right because it was not, you know, the international community wanted to negotiate at a time when the regime would have given very little, you know, because facts on the ground were such, he, you know, they didn't need to give as much. But now our position is far stronger. And as I said, we have actually toppled the regime. Uh, it's, we're negotiating about the future of Syria now, not the future of, of the revolution. Uh, so we are in a better position, we can negotiate from a position of strength, and, uh, and um, this is what we should be doing instead of thinking into, you know, uh, sinking into this uh, uh, emotional sort of responses of uh, uh, an, uh, an, an either-or mentality feeling that if we are going to negotiate, that means we're turning our back on the revolution, and it's not true at all. So uh, this is where the time where, where statesmen really emerge. This is what we need. So right now we are consigning ourselves in this way to being only a group among other groups and we are consigning ourselves to the fragmentation of Syria. So um, we need to rise above that.